r slash ask reddit by redmond ets people of reddit who have pirated something and gotten into legal trouble for it what happened and how bad was the punishment downloaded a movie got a letter from my isp saying that warner brothers had identified my ip address and they'd been instructed to cut off my service then it went on to say that sometimes this can happen due to viruses or unauthorized access so they wouldn't be taking action for a first offense in other words a very polite knock it off sucker you get a free pass this time but next time you're screwed about a year later I got an email passed to me through my ISP, a different ISP this time, from Warner Brothers, saying I downloaded one of their movies and I could either pay a $150 fine or I'd be taken to court and face up to $5,000 per offense and possible jail time. I was only a teen at the time, didn't have $150, so just ignored it. Nothing ever came of it. Never heard from them again. Got a letter from Sony Entertainment or whoever after downloading a Calvin Harris album years ago. I did not stop pirating. <laughs> downloaded Frozen while I was playing a game. Forgot I downloaded and ended up seeding for a bit. A week or so later we got a letter from whoever we had internet through saying to call them or our net would be shut off. I told the relative I lived with that I'd handle it. I called them up, acted like it was just my grandmother who lived there and that a younger jerk cousin of mine who had been staying with us for about 3 weeks must have done it. They were like, yep it sounds like something a teenager would do, make sure he doesn't screw things up for your grandma. I was like, oh I will, thank you so much. And then I got tore and went back to what I was doing. This is somewhat relevant. Some years back. My now husband and I had a house full of roommates and one guy was notorious for doing every typical shitty roommate thing. The internet bill was in my name, and one month they sent us a notification basically saying, Hey, quit downloading things. Here's what you've downloaded that we have noticed. And lists off a few pawns in the movie The Martian. We hear him the same day watching The Martian. We confront him, he plays dumb, acts like he didn't know that pirating is illegal, says it won't happen again. Well, the next month rolls around and they send another notification. And it was more porn. We booted him off the internet, told him to get his own since he can't respect what we ask. We didn't live together much longer after that. I actually got caught for, no joke, an episode of season 5 of Bob's Burgers. Basically, I think they just monitor any P2P files that are under the studio's flag, not that it was anything particularly big about the series in question. What killed me about it was that I still had access to it because I have Hulu Plus. I just wanted a copy for a flying to show someone at work part of it. I got a cessation letter, nothing else. I would definitely say that anyone who wants to sail the seas needs to have a VPN nowadays, since if they're monitoring something that small they're probably monitoring whatever you want. Do not take this as my desire to have a moral conversation over pirating, read it. If you're against it or for it I don't care the tiniest bit. Got a letter once. Most definitely because I stayed on as a seed. Dad was like what the f. I was like meh. Never heard from them again. I got my uni internet cut off for a few days because I was seeding the entire university FTP network with files. No idea I was even that guy but suddenly boom, all the public folders had my same mix of downloads lol. My parents went to see the book Thief in theaters without me, so I stayed home and torrented a copy. My parents got a letter a couple weeks later saying that I had stolen it and this was the first warning. They confronted me about it, while laughing at the irony, and feeling bad they didn't take me. I think like $3000 in lawyer's fees, 3 years probation, no internet for like 6 months, 140 hours community service, and visit probation officer until finished with community service. It was like 11th 12th grade. I was gonna get a felony, but it got expunged after 3 years without getting in any trouble. It was a hard time, but I persevered. It might have been 10 grand in lawyer's fees. Got a cease and desist email from Metallica in like 98 or 99. Screw Metallica. I will hate them forever for killing Napster. Never forget. 
my freshman year roommate and I downloaded a couple seasons of Suits. University cut off our internet and instructed us to delete them all and come to the it department to have them check that we had deleted them. Accidentally left you torrent open when on my university's Wi-Fi and it was seeding an episode of True Detective I had downloaded. Since you have to register your computer with the school before you can use the internet, I got a message from the college saying my machine was flagged for pirating. I got a $50 fine for a first offense. A second offense would have been $150. Not sure what third was, but after a certain amount and I could have faced academic probation or possibly expulsion since I was technically using the school's resources to break the law. Does anyone remember when Game of Thrones season 5 episodes 1 to 4 leaked? I got an email from my ISP because I downloaded one of them. Apparently HBO sent out mass emails to tons of people that downloaded one. It basically was a warning that's all. The dumb thing is that I had HBO go but the stupid thing wasn't working. Back in the day I was a serial downloader. Find one song from a band, I'd get their discography. Well one day my parents got a letter saying, you downloaded such and such. Pay a fine or go to court. I admitted it was me who did it and I said I'd go to court. We waited and waited and I got called to court. But being caked to court was just a letter with a boxer that said. Do you admit to these changes yes or no? I mark no. And never heard back. But that day I learned about VPNs and the Tor network. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.